In this quick video, I'll be showing you a few fixes for Diablo 4 not launching or crashing on startup, on the splash screen, etc. Obviously, make sure that not only your Windows is up to date, but your graphics card driver as well. And preferably, you download your graphics card driver from the distributor's website, such as NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, rather than relying on software on your PC, especially relying on Windows Update, as it may often miss new graphics driver versions. The first, most simple fix is to disable the Razer Chroma features of the game, surprisingly Surprisingly, quite a few people have reported issues with this since release, and of course, all the way up until now. The simplest way to do this is to start up the game at least once to create your game configuration files, then open up your documents with Start and E to open up a file browser, Documents, then look for Diablo 4, open this up, and open localprefs.txt with any text editor such as Notepad. Then inside of here, look for or use Control F to find Disable Chroma Effects, one word. Simply make sure that this is set to 1 inside of quotation marks rather than zero. Save the file and close it. If you find that the game is starting at the incorrect display width and height, you can fix these here as well, as well as lower some of the other options if you crash while loading into game. For now though, disabling chroma effects and making sure your resolution matches your display should be the simplest, most effective fix for the game not starting up properly. Try and launch the game, and if things haven't improved, there's a couple more things that we can do. First of all, verifying game files. Inside of Steam, right-click the game, head across to Properties, and on the Installed Files tab, click Verify Integrity of Game Files. As for Blizzard, open up Battle.net, head across to the Games tab, unfortunately I don't have it here, so I'll open up Hearthstone instead, click the Settings wheel next to Update, then click Scan and Repair. Both of these options will run through all of the game files on your PC, make sure everything matches the server, and if anything's corrupt or missing, it'll be downloaded and patched up. Sweet. One of the most common issues on Windows is ransomware protection stopping the game from accessing important game files and system files so it stops running properly. If you're using a third-party antivirus software, this likely isn't going to be the issue for you, as this option has probably been replaced anyways. If you haven't got a custom antivirus, simply hit Start, type in Security, and open Windows Security. Then, inside of here, head across to Virus and Threat Protection, followed by scrolling down to Ransomware Protection, click Manage, and assuming that this is turned on, head across to Allow an App Through Controlled Folder Access, then Yes, click Add an Allowed App, followed by Recently Blocked apps to see if Diablo 4 is on this list. Then click Add if it is. Otherwise, Add followed by Browse, navigate to where the game is installed, for example by right-clicking Manage and Browse Local Files, or navigating to it directly instead, then selecting Diablo4.exe. I don't have the game here, but obviously when you add it, it'll simply pop up on this list, and it should be allowed through fixing any possible issues. Then for laptops and computers with multiple GPUs, we'll hit Start, type in Graphics, and open Graphics Settings. Then, if you're on Windows 11 and you see this screen, scroll all all the way down and select graphics here. Now we're in the same place if you're on Windows 10 or 11. Click browse under desktop app and navigate to where the game is installed. For me, it's in Steam, Steam Apps Common, followed by Diablo 4. Double click Diablo4.exe to add it to the list, then scroll down to it, wherever it may be. And there we go, select it, choose options, and make sure that high performance is selected here. That's it. Simply click save and the game should be running a little bit smoother. And that's it. Now the game should be forced to use your high performance performance graphics card, preventing some crashes and giving you way better performance in-game. Something else that helps is turning off any third-party overlays. This goes for the Discord overlay, FPS overlays, or anything that hooks into the game in any way to draw on top of it. So for example, close River Tuner, MSI Afterburner, or of course, just do a full system reboot and see if the game works properly. If it does, then it's likely some other program on your system interfering or interacting with the game, causing crashes and instability. Finally, if you own the game on Battle.net, it may be a good idea to install or uninstall the high resolution texture pack based on whatever option you already have selected. I don't own the game here, so I'll just need to explain what you need to do. Essentially, open up Battle.net, then navigate across to the game, for example, over here. I don't have it, so I'll go to Hearthstone, then click the settings wheel over here, followed by modify install. On this tab here, you'll see not only language, but also game content written at the very top under its own little subheader. Click modify install to the right of game content, and on the next page, you should see high resolution textures. Or 
or high resolution assets. If it's enabled, simply untick it and click confirm. Otherwise, if it isn't enabled, enable it and click confirm. Set it to the opposite of whatever you already have selected. That should hopefully fix the issue. On Steam, this isn't an option, or at least as far as I understand. And that's really about it for the super quick guide. At this point, the game should hopefully be working properly for you. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!